and welcome to lesson 312, multiplying two decimals. So this is going to be super similar to what we've been doing. We're just going to add on to it. So it says Julie has five tenths of her backyard set up for growing vegetables. Of the vegetable area, four tenths has bell peppers in it. What part of the backyard contains bell peppers? So we know we have five tenths and we have that. And it says of the area, and so that's our multiplication times our four tenths. So as we've been talking before, we're ignoring this. Five times four is 20. Now we can estimate. So we can say that five tenths is about one times 0 0.4, and that gives us 0 0.4. So that means our decimal can't be there, that would be 20. There would be two holes, we have zero holes, so we need it up at the front to give us two tenths or 20 hundredths. All right, so let's kind of flip the page and I do kind of want to talk through this page here. So it says, Nancy walked one and seven tenths of a mile in one hour. If she walked at the same rate, how far would she walk in one and a half hours? So we're looking at one and seven tenths times one and five tenths. So as you can see, they kind of broke it up into the box method here. So they broke it up onto the sides and said one times one is one, one times a half is a half, one times a seven tenth is seven tenths, and then here they did five tenths times seven tenths. So five tenths times seven tenths, so five times seven is 35. If we know, I'm going to go ahead and write it over here. If we know that we can estimate our seven into one whole, then we can keep it five tenths, so which would give us five tenths. So we know we need zero holes, so it needs to go to the front to be zero holes. So that's how they got that. As you can see, they estimated in the very beginning, so they knew their number was going to be near four. They found all the partial products here and then they added them together with the decimals and seeing if it's close. So yes, two and 55 hundreds is close to four and two and 55 hundreds is the answer. All right, so let's do some practice. We're gonna write it on our notebook. So we have number one is nine and three tenths times four and one tenth. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to um, kind of do like the box method before. So we know we have nine holes and we have three tenths. Here we have four holes and one tenth. Well, nine times four is 36. Four times three tenths. So we can even use that to count. So if we do four times three, we know that's 12. But we know that we have one decimal here. So if we came over to the side to do it, it like we would have, just in case you have forgotten, we are having four times zero, the link to the which is, is zero. So and how does that work with our 12? Is it going to go here? No, that doesn't quite work. I'm sorry for the announcements that just came over. That doesn't quite work. So let's not use this kind of estimation this time. Let's add it. So we have 3 tenths plus 3 tenths, which is 6 tenths. And then if we did another 3 tenths plus 3 tenths, that would give us another 6 tenths, which would give us 1 and 2 hundredths. So we know to place it in the middle. Then we have 9 times 1 tenth. So we can come over to the side. 9 times 1 tenth. Well, 9 times 1 is 9. If we're estimating all of this, then again, that's going to give me 9 times 0, which is going to give me 0. And in this case, it works. 9 times 0 is 0 because this has 0 holes in it. You could also do 1 tenth 9 times. And 1 tenth plus 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 1 tenth is 9 tenths. So that does work there. And then we have 1 tenth times 3 tenths. And that gives us, we can come over to the side, one tenth times three tenths, that gives me three. And so if we add 
if we're looking at it and it's double, then it's going to be in the hundredths place. So now we have three hundredths. If you add them all together, so we have 36, there's my decimal, one and two tenths, zero and nine tenths, and zero and three hundredths, nine, 10, 11, six, seven, eight, three, and you can just bring down your decimal. Your answer is 38 and 13 hundredths.